Hello there, my crypto bit brothers and sisters. How in the heck are you guys doing? Hey, did you subscribe to us yet? And did you push up a thumb button? Thumbs up? Well, I know you haven't seen it yet, but you know it's going to be good because Bulldog Rod's here and also Papa Ron. He's here. We're both here. Anytime we're here, you can rest assured you're subscribing and your thumbs up and pound that thumbs up for what? us there. What? What? <laughs> what is the deal? What is the deal with that hat? You've been fishing or what? No, look at it. Look at it. You see, it's a Vietnam boonie hat, man. Oh, I didn't see about? it. I didn't see it. Yeah, Sorry. and then I got uh, this is the ASA. It's what I was in. I told all the grunts where to go. Uh, to go are these, find are these uh, are these medals that you actually purchase instead of achieve? Oh yeah, I purchased them. <laughs> I, oh, I had to buy them. <laughs> Anytime the firing started over there, you think I'd hang around? I ran like hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what they say. There's only two groups of people that run towards the gunfire, and that's the military and the police department. But you know, either one, if I hear gunfire, baby, I'm headed in the wrong direction. I'm headed out of there. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> hey, hey, I want to talk about something here. I've been, yesterday I was looking at the, um, at the market cap. Can you pull that up? Oh, yes. Not okay. yesterday. I know you can't pull up yesterday. But today, yesterday, NIM, which is number five, was the price was more than Ripple. First time I've ever seen NIM more than Ripple was yesterday. But today it evened out. And it's pretty freaking close. Look at there. Uh, uh, 0. 0.1621 and 0.1625. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, you know, that, that that's pretty good. Real close. Yeah, it's real close. And Ripple rebounded today, but that's okay. You, you watch. I bet you Nim may overtake Ripple tomorrow. That would be funny if it did. <laughs> well, you were saying something when I when I was talking to you earlier about this volume. Oh yeah, if you look at the volume here, I I I was looking at the twenty four hour volume of Ripple, which thirty six million seven hundred and forty two, and then right below it is is Litecoin, it's it's 63 million, and you wonder how come it's number four and Ripple's number three. And then, of course, you, know, you got NIM, uh, a NIM, it's only two million, but but then but then Ripple cheats, they put all those damn coins out there. See, they got a lot more coins than Litecoin, so that puts them number three with their market cap. So, yeah, six uh, six trillion. We only got two trillion in Litecoin, but Litecoins cost more though. That's because of your coins. <laughs> that's the way it goes, you know. Oh, that's good. I like that. But look at it going up. That looks yeah. pretty good. Nim chart, man, it's, it's not doing too bad, is it? It's no. really stable. Yeah, it's well below their, their market. Uh, yeah, look at that line. Yeah, the bottom line. Yeah, that's good. I like that. And um, so, with 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 that going on, and then and then I hear something, Ron, that's really odd. What's this Nim and Pac Man going on here? I, <laughs> that threw me. I hadn't had a chance to look at that one. Have you? Have you yeah, I have that? a little bit. And. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me let me kind of before we get into that though, I think we ought to set it up a little bit with a couple other things, just to make us more aware of uh, Nim. Here's their website. Um, and now I, I I don't have any of these tabs in order like I wanted, but we'll we'll work through it. Nim Nim has some really cool things on here that a lot of the other coins don't have, um, and you can click on any one of these these tabs and pull up a brief explanation of what it is yeah, one thing like they that. do is this name spaces and that's similar to a domain name that you can go on here and I think the price I think it's only 25 NEM and you can register a name within the NEM community um, so for example to get through this let's just use Bulldog Rod let's say it's Bulldog Rod Enterprises so he okay. uh, he gets that name and they approve it because nobody else has it and he registers that. 
Now remember, folks, um, NIM, NIM is trying to build a community where you actually use the coins and their tokens. Yeah. Uh, they want it to be a currency, they, so they reward you for using it. So then you go on, you could do a sub name. So let's say it's uh, Bulldog Rod Enterprises backslash car wash. Um, so oh. then you got a sub name under your so called domain name. You know, I've been wanting to buy a car wash. Well, that might work then. I never, I never get my car washed good enough. I was then they have these mosaics. Wash. <laughs> yeah. Hey, send me a memo on it, will you, Rod? <laughs> Are you trying we're, to ignore me? We're Ron? trying to get something done here. <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> Text me a memo. Anyway, <laughs> now these mosaics are kind of cool, um, and that's something where you can like create your own token or your own coin, or you create a mosaic for anything of real value or um, an, uh, an electronic or a. Uh, an asset within the hyper world, whatever. So <laughs> now you got now you got Bulldog Rods Enterprises slash Car Wash. So he could create a mosaic that would be worth a car wash at your facility. Yeah, I'll have a bulldog with a, with a circle around it, and then underneath it, I'll have a car going through a car wash. Hey, Very that cool. Would, uh, cool coin, huh? So you can use that mosaic. As a way, again, back to NIMS philosophy, they want these products used. So you could attach a mosaic to anything of value or digital value, too. That's what I was trying to think of earlier, uh, uh, or digital value. Um, you know, that, that, that's pretty, that, that's kind of a neat thing to do, isn't it? No, it's I mean, very you cool. You could make your own business and, have, and then also use the NIM, and then you'll get NIM, more NIM from that, right? Well, the mosaics the mosaics aren't um, valued like a NEM XEM coin is. The mosaics are different. And remember, this oh, really? this is just they're trying to get this ecosystem working to where there'll be value in all this at one point. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool thing. Um, what else am I going to say if, about but that? But if you're using NEM for your car wash, then wouldn't you gain some? Well, yeah, you're using the mosaic. You're putting a value on that mosaic that you created. And folks, we're not going to give you the whole history of NAM. There's plenty of videos out there. We've even got some older videos that talk all about the NAM and and their their uh, things that are coming up. Um, but this mosaic thing is going to lead us into the Pac-Man. Is what I'm what I'm kind of doing here. Um, so oh, yeah, no, it's, it's cool. What you can, yeah, it is cool. Whatever you want to do it, you can attach it to something digital too. You can sell, um, I don't know, burst coins for mosaics if you want. If you're trying to get, and that wasn't a good analogy, but um, you can set them up there. You can design your own currency in this mosaic thing. So it might be Bulldog Rod's coins, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Put value on those and if you get enough people using them and trading them also these mosaics you can attach contracts um, like rental agreements um, car rentals like car rentals said. or mortgages and all of that NEM even has a notarization thing oh within their system for these types of contracts that you could attach to these mosaics. So the mosaics haven't gone real big yet, but if you think about the potential, and those people that are, are sold on them and are going to be in it for the long haul, you need to become active within the community and using these things. Remember, they have their whole system is based on... Um, uh, Usage. Yeah, proof Spending. of... Uh, Oh, POI. Proof um, of importance. Proof of importance. importance. Man, Proof I am getting as old as you, Rod. I'm sorry. Man, I, I know. You better straighten up. This <laughs> proof of importance is ties in with your wallet. They don't want you just to buy a bunch of XEM 
and put it in your wallet and sit on it. They want you using it. So the more you use it, the more you have, the more of this importance in their scale, you and your wallet goes up. So you carry more weight within the community. Again, oh. they're trying to encourage you to use it, to be involved. To, let's get this thing being used. Um, talk about being used. Let me. I had one article here. I should have put these in order. Maybe this is it right here. This must be it right here, Rod. Um, Bitcoin for free? How to double your Bitcoin for free? Nope, that ain't it. X, that's X Ledger. Yeah, no. Here it is. Japanese it is. crypto right exchange. Now this exchange, and I'm going to pronounce it wrong, Zayf, um adds XEM as NEM names, Japan chapter direct. Anyway, this is a huge exchange, uh, and they added XEM. Um, and down here it says that they only handle a few coins. Yeah, well, well we know XEM. Okay, Zarif Exchange has over the years grown up to be one of the Japan's top exchanges. And it says in here how excited the Japanese, and we've talked about that before, Rod, that, oh, yeah. that Japan will support what they have going. And well, I, well, it's their it's their coin that they adopted. You know, yeah. I mean, it's their coin, just like the ant shares or neo is the Chinese. Okay, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So um, <laughs> <laughs> could be, folks. Um, so Nam is is big over in Japan. They're using it and so on. So now. Let's get to the crust of this. Um, now, now NEM themselves, their developers, I don't think came up with this Pac NEM. It's a game they're putting on the uh, NEM blockchain, and they they built this blockchain from ground up. Matter of fact, originally NEM was going to be a fork, a split off of NXT Next. But as they got on to Bitcoin Talk and started soliciting developers, they kind of created their own blockchain from ground up. Um, now this guy here, this Greg, um, and it says here that he, he, I think he's the one that built this on the NEM blockchain. He formatted it. And one reason he wanted to do this is to show you how easy and how, um, Usable. Usable, that blockchain is for these type of things. No kidding. Uh, so anyway, it's a pretty cool little thing. It's uh, They have two different, and it's in beta. It just started right now. So it's in beta. You can sign up, put your NEM address in there. No, no passwords or private keys or any of that. And then you can start playing this because it's an open source game, meaning that people can actually see the code and and suggest what needs to be changed. So he wants all that critique for this first month in beta. You can either okay. be a sponsor and earn mosaics by sponsoring oh. players, or if you play with your own wallet, you can earn mosaics um, as you play yep. and, and conquer and all that. They also have a top score list, the top 10 people with scores, you can see that. Anyway, we're going to put these uh, descriptions in the uh, description box, these links, so people can look at that. But, And it, I'm not so excited that it's Pac-Nem or Pac-Man that's going to be on the blockchain, but it's people that are developing things and using Nem's blockchain and showing you how easy it is for other developers and people. That's right. So he is going to use these mosaics within his game. And yeah. you can earn those and maybe... Uh, now, take a game like these shoot 'em up games that... Um, you know, the war games. You can actually, maybe with mosaics, buy better weapons or things like that. Ooh. So they could be used I like, within well, the... I like war games. Yeah, within the game. Yeah. So, uh, 
I don't know, I, we came across that and thought, man, this is pretty cool, really. Uh, yeah. Again, for those of you that are... It's di- something different. Well, yeah. It's, yeah, it's totally different. That That's 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 being creative, man. And them is being pretty creative. And it's furthering their system of let's get a community that's using this and yeah. coming up with ways to use it. Yeah. The that's mosaics awesome. are perfect for this. It is. Um, so, you know, if you had anything <laughs> of value, digital or real, for example, Rod, if you wanted to sell uh, fake metal Vietnam hats, you could put them on there and come up with a mosaic <laughs> thing and, and uh, push them. Yeah, you could buy buy all the all the uh, little charms up there you want to get, huh? Now, brother, <laughs> you know I'm appreciative of your service. I'm just I know, I know, I'm yeah. just funning you. I know. I, I love can you, take man. a joke. I can take a joke. Just don't get in my sights, will you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen how you shoot. <laughs> he sits under the berm and Drrr. more ammo, more ammo. <laughs> <laughs> you you not, just throw the lead out there, brother. That's I want to keep their heads down so my so my my, my companions can nail them. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, thanks for watching. Check into this stuff. Nem's a great a great uh, platform, um, and where they've overtaken Ripple, I thought that was kind of interesting too. It was. That that that, is, um, that was an interesting thing for one day. Um, <laughs> All right, we hope we benefit you a little bit with this for you NIM diehards, and get after it. Thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe, and God bless.